Leo uh, defeated Millwall last weekend. Um, where do you think it, it went wrong on the day there? I think what does, uh, you watch the game and you look at the stat and you see the goals, there was two switch off and two crucial moments. The first one was early in the first half. The, the, the wall didn't work like it should be. And then in the second half, we switch off on the set pieces, long three, three kick. And then we, we couldn't track the marking and then uh, we considered this, uh, these naive goals that the team uh, don't expect it. But the positive things are working during the week uh, from that game that we were more comfortable with the ball, uh, even uh, more comfortable, comfortable than the, the game that we play against Birmingham. So we couldn't better the position we tried to build. The, the ball wasn't burning in our feet. And then uh, from there, we started to move forward. This is another step. We break the final third, and this is what uh, we work uh, during this week. Yeah, you, you mentioned last week, no time on the training ground whatsoever, but you've, you've had a bit of time this week. Have you seen a bit of a reaction from the players? Yeah, uh, it's funny when you say time. You have a couple more days, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I consider the time uh, something more longer. But uh, we have four days to work, and I use the uh, five sessions to try to strengthen our weakness and to try to reinforce our strengths, uh, defensively and offensively. The most important is movement. We need to move more and we need to put a more high intensity when we get the ball to try to penetrate quicker. And this is, uh, this is starting, you, even if you don't have time to work, <clears throat> it's something like in this equation, it's not coming because we are not building, we are fixing now. When you build, you need time. When you don't have time, you need to fix. And then when you fix in the equation, time is not in included, but attitude. Attitude is a main factor then inside of this equation. So the attitude for the players is the right attitude. The attitude for to learn, for to improve, for to try to play high tempo is the right. So I think the, the, the group is set, everybody's involved and everybody's ready for for to be focused in this game that is the most important for us, uh, Blackburn. Obviously you've come in and it's your first real taste of, of management and you, you're you just outside the relegation zone. Do you think you and the players are, are maybe feeling the pressure of being in that kind of dogfight? Well, it's, the expectations were very high and early in the season because we all expected the way that we finish uh, last season to start in better. But the, this is not exactly science. This is football. That's why it's very unpredictable sometimes. And the things don't work like a, like a machine. So after 11 games, we couldn't find the, the results. The club made some changes, changed the manager. And then I'm going now for this, for this time to, to prepare the squad from, from, from this moment. So we are eight points behind the playoff. So you, you, you have the choice to look forward and to say we are eight points behind the playoff or look back and to say we are two points, two points above relegation, but there's 33 games to go. So I don't know why this, uh, you have to be calm. You have to think and work and look forward because even when you look back and you think with the squad we have 33 games to go, we should build more with more calmness, with more patience, and then the look forward and say eight points from the playoff positions. There's a big uh, motivation, and that is the is the challenge for us in this game to try to move forward one more step. Your third game as a manager, were you expecting to be in charge this long? Uh, today for the Saturday. Mm. Yeah, well, uh, the, the things go step by step. It's a very it's a very, um, uh, the club need the, need the time because if you consider the manager that have, have been working here, they all have big, big curriculums, big uh, careers, great manager, all of them. And the result, the final result at the end didn't, did not come. So which one is the right answer? So the club need, need the time to work on that. And there's no rush because it's a big name that like we had before. 
uh, uh, didn't work this season, so they they need to analyze, they need the time, the patient, and then the, to bring the right thing because you don't want to fix, you want to build, you want to rebuild, you want something like to arrive at the end of the season with with a good stability, and to, and they start in the other season uh, uh, better than this one eh, for sure. But uh, the expectations are, are are high, and then we are working on this. Have you had any indication of time scale, or are you just working day by day? No, uh, I have a good conversation with the chairman, and then I saw when eh? he's in control of the situation because he's a big man, so never panic. And then uh, he gave me the the support for go to this game, prepare with calm, with with uh, support, and that is the most important, not only from him. For the players, the players are giving the support. The players they show they want. The players asking questions about the tactic, about how we play, how we want to attack, and that is good because they want to know more. They want to perform better. They want to improve, and that is what you keep you uh, uh, motivate to see the desire and the right attitude for to move forward. I know we should take it with a pinch of salt, but the bookie's favourite at the moment is a man that's working with you at the moment in Lee Catamol. How much has he and the rest of the team helped you? They are, they are helped me. Yes, they bring me some ideas. I don't know about Lee. That's his answer. He need to. He need to. This is a question that he need to answer. But I believe if we are working together. I I hope that he he do for me what he sh that he's, uh, he should be in that position. I don't. I don't see any any issue with that. I don't feel any fear about that. I feel like he is with me, supporting me, and trying to give me the best. So I, I feel very comfortable working with him, and then uh, that's just the way that we are doing now. So obviously you've had a couple of games now, Millwall last week. Any any injuries come out of that? How's how's the squad looking ahead of this weekend? No, no, no major injuries. Always uh, after the games, it's always an uh, sore. Tires tight, but we're working on this. So I think the, the squad uh, probably will be full. We review tonight uh, after the training, and then uh, ready for the game on Saturday. Matthew Hoppy came on in the closing stages last Saturday. I don't know he's someone that the Borough fans have been keen to see more of. He hasn't had too much of a chance. Do you think he could come into contention for Blackburn? If we need, uh, we will bring. Yes, we will bring him in. Uh, Still, still develop. Still need to improve in some some areas to adapting. But he's a he's a great uh, professional. He tried to he tried to learn quick. He tried to adapt quick. He's in a very good shape. But uh, he need to adapt now and tactically how he read the game better. But this is the the thing that like he he's getting better. And then for sure when we need he will be there. And obviously Blackburn, you'll have looked at them um, just outside the playoffs this season. They've, they've been a little bit hit and miss, some good wins and some, some poor defeats. Uh, how do you assess them? Sorry, I thought I, I, I to catch a bit of your yeah, your, no problem. Your so question. obviously you'll have looked at Blackburn. How do you assess them ahead of the game at the weekend? Well, they, they, have, a, they have a lot of mobility. They move the ball quick. They play a high, intent, high tempo. Uh, they are a very good team. They... They were uh, winning, losing, winning, losing. So it was something. It was inconsistency, and then probably because they they are very aggressive when they have the ball, and that's in championship sometimes play against. But uh, we respect a lot of them. So we work in um, because we like the ball too for to play. So let's see who's gonna get the ball tomorrow, because they want the ball and we want to. So. It will be a very big battle for to get the ball and play against. So I think it will be a big match. And just finally, obviously, when you won your, your first game in charge against Birmingham, it was clear to see at the end what it meant to you and the atmosphere and how much your fans were behind you. How important are they going to be tomorrow? It's important as always. The fans are always important as always. As I say before, without the fans, we don't exist. Without the supporters, the club is it's difficult to be the club. So we need them. They know that, and they are right behind us. So we need to we need to be focused to win to win again tomorrow, <coughs> and from there to keep moving forward and step one step by step, uh, rebuilding this, fixing the moment, and then uh, working with more 
clarity and comfortable uh, moments. Thank you. Hi Leo, Simon from Tai Tees. Um, just looking at Blackburn again, you, you mentioned it there. Their, their record is strange. They win, they lose. I suppose that says that they're a team that can be beaten. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we prepared the, the we prepared during the week for to win the game. We prepared to come in uh, with the best we can to play our best football, a little more aggressive when, when we have the ball more positive, try to speed it up uh, on the final third. And I hope that works. I hope because the idea was planned and I hope we can we can find the moments to do this and, <coughs> and penetrate and win the game. You've been sat in the chair for a couple of weeks now. Do the guys treat you as the gaffer now or are you still Leo? Well, I like to be Leo. We you call Leo with respect. It sounds good. Yeah, they can call you gaffer without respect and then it sound, sounds very sounds weird. So I like they can call me Leo because I've seen the same man. The, the respect was always. It's not respect because I'm, I'm in charge now and they respect me more than before. The respect is something like uh, you earn for your attitudes, for your values. So that's nothing changed. We always treat everyone with respect and they respect me the same. Maybe, maybe we get a little more distance than not be to like before, but this is normal. And then uh, uh, the most important is that we feel that we are working together. We are part of the team. Everyone is involved. The inclusion of everyone here is our strength. And then uh, we work in the line. Um, you said earlier about fixing and building uh, and also that, you know, we think you've had time, but really it's only like a day more or two days more. Is it becoming a bit frustrating that you have to just keep fixing when you'd probably quite like <coughs> to start building that? Well, because, because you're, uh, uh, it's, it's you, you, you want, you want to bring your, all your ideas, all your projects, you know, you're working on the, on your projects as a, an architect or something like this. So, but at this time, this is the opportunity that the club need me in that role. And then we try to be more simple, more specific, and uh, working in the terminated areas to bring the results. This is what we need now, bring the result back. And the result is started with a clean sheet, and then from there you build, and then you, you, you score. So, results after the fixing, that's what we need. Um, you said, and I think everyone fans would agree with you that the club has to take the time it needs to make its appointment, but does there come a point where it gets a bit uncomfortable for you guys to just keep going on like this? <coughs> well, it, 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 was, it was only one week. Eh? When you look, it was practically only one week uh, since we started with this. So I don't know how long it will be, but the most important is working step by step, game by game. So the most important, the focus now is Blackburn. We definitely need to do a good performance against Blackburn, and we working for that. And then this is how we feel comfortable now, working uh, step by step, game by game. Um, lastly, for me, you've lived with this squad all the way through from the summer to now. You talked about the league table and how much time there is left. Do you still believe in this squad and where it can go this season? Yes, I believe the the squad, as I say, since I came. Uh, of course, maybe later in the season when the next window is open, you always need some reforms because maybe some injuries or something, some problems to, to strengthen your weakness. But uh, I still believe in the, in the players for sure. I still believe that they still have a lot of percent to improve in their, in their uh, performance. They know that and we are looking f for to, uh, to give in the best for their performance, the best they can because, because it's, still like a, it's still a gap. So they can improve, and then uh, with this improvement on their gap or their performance, the, the, the level is going to be very more higher for sure. Thank you. Good luck. Leo, I know, I know you, can, you probably <coughs> think you have been asked this, but we're a couple of weeks in now. I mean, do you want this job? Do you want to be manager of Middlesbrough? Well, I, f of course, I want to be managing one day. That's, that's I say. Uh, I didn't expect this situation coming now. Uh, I have a different offer when I was in Brazil to keep coaching in Brazil, yeah. but I uh, rejected to come back to here yeah. to work with uh, Jonathan Goodgate to support the club, to work for the club in any position that they need me. That is was my option. 
During this time I was here, with so many changes, especially after COVID, I have another offers to go as a coaching yeah. in good clubs in Brazil. And I reject it again because I feel comfortable here. Yeah. Now the time is arriving me for me to say, Leo, you have to run the team. You have to be caretaker. So I have to bring the best I have <coughs> from my experience, from my football view, from my knowledge, not only from my passion. Yeah. That's just that's two different things. Yeah, yeah. People sometimes confuse. Mm. Too much passion in the role you play in the dugout. But behind the passion, there's a lot of knowledge, a lot of experience, working with so many good coaches, so many big coaches. Yeah. And then uh, it's what you learn. And then this is the time, I don't know for how long, but for you to share mm -hmm. all what you got in your back and your, in your luggage yeah. during all these years. Because just to be clear, there's obviously a team of you working <coughs> You're you're the man picking the team, aren't you? You're you, you know if there's disagreements about who should play when, you're the man who sat in front of us. You're the man. You know this is this is your team, if you like. Oh yes, yes. Uh, I listen with uh, respect, with attention. When you tell me something, you need to explain me why. Give me your reasons. Give me your value arguments, yeah. and I consider in everything. But at the end, the final lineup. It's my decision. That's just, that's just very clear. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, yes, I enjoy a lot. I, 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 I know enjoy. it's hard. No, no, no. Sort of no it's, uh, it's, yeah. going on, but can you, you know, are you enjoying Yeah, but it's, but, it, but it's hard, but it's, uh, it would be so easy. You just win, 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 and then uh, you, you never be in this position. So the enjoy now to be in an uncomfortable position, to getting out of this, that is, a, that is a great challenge. And this is how you need to enjoy, to be in an uncomfortable position, to flip back and then be on top again. Yeah. So this is a challenge. And then I have been in this situation many times, especially in my life. So I still have the clarity and the vision for where we need to go. Even uh, people go sometimes panic or frustrated or maybe too much passion. This is the moment that you don't need passion. Yeah. You need to uh, think, you need to feel, you need to be more accurate vision. Uh, what is the next step, where we need to go? Maybe it's not time to run, it's time to walk. And then uh, after we walk, then we started to jog. But people want to run so quick. And then yeah. I think it's good that we are already stand up, ready for to start to walk. And just to wrap up for me, um, to kind of go back to what you've been saying, obviously there is an image of you on the touchline. The fans have an image of you. We have an image of you. Everybody has an image of you. And, and that's part of who you are, definitely. But I think... Am I right that, that what you're saying is, look, there's a lot more than that. You know, I, I've been a coach for a lot of years. I've worked with big clubs in Brazil. I know what's going on here. You, you know, it's not just Leo, the, for want of a better phrase, cheerleader. <coughs> it's a much bigger package. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. This, uh, I, because I never had the time or the opportunity for to talk about football, uh, I have a little more time now. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you see how much work I did, how much study, how much analysis, how many games have been there, how many great managers I work with and, and so I learned how many training sessions. This is not because you are passionate. This is because you have something on your brain that it works. So the, the cheerleader is, is funny because people are dying. Thinking because I stand the dog out very strong. That's the role I play at that time. It's, uh, throw my passion and try to boost the team with energy. And then, we're, but when we went into the dressing room, it was different. When we went into the training session, it was different. When we planning training session, it was different. So every time I was uh, asked for something, I always come up with uh, a solution, with an idea, basic and, and, uh, and, and solid. So I didn't come up like, uh, yeah, let's just go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's why. They trusted me so many years, not only here, in every place I went. Mm -hmm. That's why when I came into the club, in the role like goalkeeper coach, it wasn't like that. Yeah. I wore the right, right hand of, of Aito. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I worked with him and supported him, but also with my ideas, yeah. not only just with my heart. Yeah. And then now it's, uh, it's the time like uh, I need to show more of this, or maybe people need to see me more on that 
and then we are working. You can see the training sessions, you can see the planning, and then uh, the result will talk better than my word because yeah, I can yeah, say whatever. Does, but the, the result, the show, even if I if I have done everything right and the result don't come in, I'm wrong. Mm. But we know at the end here inside that that's all right. Yeah. When you do the right things, when you work good, when you are ready, the result will come as a consequence. Yeah. As a consequence, you know, as a, a casualty. Because sometimes you get that one result and it's a casualty. But in the process that when you build, the result will come as a consequence for all this work put together. Yeah. So sometimes you look, new manager with the change, you look now, and what for? They won and they lost, lost. So it's because it takes time. It takes time. Take patience and take support. So the biggest support I have now from everyone, but especially I need the support from the players because that's the many the fans want, <coughs> the, 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 the directors of the club want, if the players don't want. Yeah. But I have the support from the players, and that is the, 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 the biggest boost now, together with the fans, for oh. sure. Do you still speak to Ito? Do you, do you, have you had yeah, 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 speak with him, yeah, 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 still talk with him and then uh, we always share ideas and always support each other and then uh, he's, uh, well, he's in Spain now in Granada, yeah. but we still, we're still talking and then uh, it's a good uh, relationship we still have, yeah, for sure. Leo, you mentioned the meeting with uh, Steve Gibson, was that on Monday, was it, and in that meeting, was that when, you know, he gave you full clarity that you'd be in charge for the rest of the week? We have a conversation. Uh, was uh, uh, yeah, I think it was a Monday, and then uh, no, just 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 give me the confidence and the and the um, the strength to prepare the game against Blackburn, to feel comfortable to prepare <coughs> the game uh, against Blackburn, and then uh, that was very clear. And that's it's a privilege for me to talk and to receive that message. So um, that's what we did during this week: prepare Blackburn. Yeah, I guess that's important, you, you're getting that clarity early, so you, you have the full week to prepare, but also you're getting that, you know, show of support from, from Steve Gibson. He obviously trusts you so that he can take time in this decision. He trusts you in this time to lead the team. That must feel nice for you. It feels great, but, but the, the support was just straight when they tried to take the decision. They have uh, so many coaches in the academy. They have so many names that should come early. And they gave me the responsibility because they trust. So that was the, the, the trust and the support was from the day one. And then uh, even the result don't come or will come like we expect it to come. The support is still, they believe in the men is still there because the work is showing every day here. So it's nothing is missing, it's just keep going. You mentioned, you know, not much extra time, but a little extra time to work on things. I mean, do you think we'll see against Blackburn, you know, any differences, any kind of, you know, if you like what you would like a team to look like, or are you just working at the minute with, with kind of, you know? I think yes. I think we should should see a little improvement. Yes, for sure. This is what you expect. This is what we did uh, during this week to try to improve, uh, especially with the ball. Especially on the, in the tempo that we will play, so I expected that we have the comfortable and the position to to play the what what we train during the week. And, and just finally, from me, though, um, you mentioned injuries before. Matt Clark has missed the last two. How is he? Is he back involved? No, Clark is still uh, still out for this game. Yeah, he's in recovery, and probably take a hold the next week. I need to talk with the doctors specific, but for sure against Blackwood, he's no he's not fit. Yeah. What, what's his issue? Sorry, what's his? It's a, it's a, he has a pinched nerve on the on the back, so he get the sciatic, and then uh, he's working on this to to try to get more comfortable, so he can run and move in more freedom. So that's just the the little issue.